Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps. Um, this is me trying to set up the Nest Protect CO2 and smoke detectors. Um, I have put up the base plate, and you can see this one's already powered on because I've removed the, pin, the, the, the blue tag to uh, act to, you know, for the batteries to connect um, to the terminals. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pair this thing up with my phone. Um, so, I've got my Nest app installed. You can see I've got two thermostats running at the moment the learning thermostats third gen and this is a second gen battery operated smoke and co2 sensor um, so we're going to say add product nest protect and then we're going to scan this qr code on the back um i had a i had some issues with oh, oh, let's get it oh, it kind of rushed it there you go okay so it says okay uh, make sure you have all the Nest Protect settings set up as well. So, okay. Next, uh, choose the indoor space that best fits. So, let's say this one's going to go upstairs. Okay, wake up. Okay, so it's actually telling me, all right, I have already done that. Thank you very much. I have already pulled out the battery stuff. So, we're going to run through that again on the other one anyway. So, now it's connecting. Connecting to your nest. This may take a few moments. Okay, let's hope it works. Uh, one problem I had with the app was um, I was doing something. Now you can see. Look, look, look. All right. Um, we're gonna connect you to this one. Okay. Oh, no password. Hold on. So um, one problem I had with the app was when I wanted to um, try and set up the config. It says you have to turn off the overlay settings. Now I realize that's probably for um, that's probably for um, to take a picture of the code, the QR code. Uh, so I had to mess around with the phone settings to make that work. So hopefully this should pick up um, the net connection. The network is a little bit weak in here where I'm sitting. I'm sitting right at the end of the house. Um, okay, path light guides. Okay, path light on. So that means at night time. Um, when it's dark and it detects movement, it turns on a path light, so you get like a small uh, light that appears, or the, you know, it glows, so you can actually see Connected. the path where you're walking. There you go, bad boy, first one down. Um, this might take a few moments. So that one's live. So that one, I can stick that one straight up. So this one is set up for upstairs. I'm going to move it out of the way once this is said finished. So what we're going to say is add another nest protect. Um, add another one, please. Okay, let's scan the code. Make sure I get all of this in shot. So there. Done. Okay. So make sure you've got this and a ladder. Okay, I've got all that stuff. So this is going to go downstairs. So downstairs. Now we'll have. So you can see there's already it knows about the one upstairs, which is the one I just did. Um, and that's going to run through the one for downstairs okay this may take a moment okay don't you want me to turn the power off don't you want me to pull the power out oh, let's do that quickly okay let's not get them mixed up so, pull this out so hopefully that thing there you go it's powering on hello from nest hello nest okay Hopefully it should sort itself out and connect it up. It's supposed to be straightforward. So far it's been straightforward in a sense, you know, but I did have to play with some overlay settings to take that QR code image, which is a bit annoying. It took me a little while to figure out what to do, but um, connecting to your upstairs Nest Protect. Okay, that's right here, man. Okay. So it's right here. It's right here. Look, so it's connected to the one upstairs first. Probably just to establish a link for to that one. Um, let's just make sure that I can actually pick up a signal. I moved it out. I moved it closer. Come on. So it's actually connecting to the original one, the first one I configured. Um, but it's taking its time, right? Look how weak my Wi-Fi signal is. Jamal. Come on, people. Come on. Ah, let's try again. Next. Okay. Hopefully this will be a bit quicker. 
What am I on? What Wi-Fi am I on? Okay. Come on. Otherwise I'll switch to um, 5 gigahertz to see if that helps. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. taking his time man maybe maybe the nest protect has lost its connection so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause this video i'm gonna go stick the nest protect up on the wall on the ceiling so it's because right now in here it's a bit weak the signal um probably not the best place to do it and then i'll be right back in two seconds so I'll pause yep so okay it, the 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 nest for upstairs is having trouble connected to the wi-fi so i've actually put it into its permanent location which i'll show you in a bit so now it's saying okay let's go for the new one so the new one's ready the new one's on um i've already did this so here we go looking for the new one let's see what happens come on come on connecting to downstairs There we go. There it's got. It's got hold of it. There you go. There you go. Setting up interconnect. So it's probably linking the two together. So they work in unison. Um, and I think they also work in unison with the thermostat. So the you know the sensors or the motion sensors will help um, set the away and home modes on the nest uh, thermostats. So if they if the if the nest protect doesn't detect any movement, then it will tell the nest thermostat to set, uh, it will switch the nest thermostat to away mode. Um, so basically all of these things have got motion sensors so they can detect movement. Um, press the button upstairs to make sure the blue light is on. Try Try again. I think this is a lack of Wi-Fi signal. Hold on. Okay, hold on, let's go back actually. There you go, connecting, setting up. Wi-Fi, I probably just lost it for a minute. Okay, try again. There you go, Pathlet, yes please. Finishing, adding to account. Hopefully it should go green to Connected. say it's There you go, done. All right, so I had a little few technical glitches because my Wi-Fi where I am is not that great, uh, which is another story in itself, to be honest. But um, it's managed to do it, so let's have a look. Sound check. Um, okay, so you can set a sound check. Um, sensors, power, Wi-Fi. Each month, second gen can also test its own voice and alarm. That's pretty cool, right? So we got. We'll just leave it at that for now. Finish. Run safety check. Setup complete. Done. So now, all right. So now on my app, you can see I've got my two thermostats. I've got Nest Protect. If I go to that, I have upstairs. Everything is sweet. You can see that done i can check well, downstairs and upstairs check three minutes ago uh pretty cool so we're good to go and so obviously you can monitor history obviously there's none because i've just set them up but that's it really done um so they're configured check up what does a check up do continue let's see connecting hopefully it can connect I don't, i'm not sure if it's going to work but even if the Wi-Fi signal is a little weak, this uh, this is only a test of alarm or sound. The alarm is loud. Cancel. Actually, it will freak my mom and dad out. So we won't test it right now because I'm sure it's going to be loud. I'll have to give them a warning. But there you go. So it's added. Um, it's on the same app as my thermostats, which is great, right? Um, so that's the video, man. That's it. I hope you like the video. Uh, like I said, I did have a few technical glitches. One of them was related to some kind of screen overlay setting on android and i think that's because the nest app need requires some kind of permission to take an image of the qr code some kind of overlay screen overlay thing um, but i got around it if you do have trouble with that hit me up on the messages uh, with this video and i'll try and help you get through that um uh, we are wagwan apps so we can always help with android and stuff like that anyway thanks for watching please like please sub and i'll catch up with you guys later